What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are testing out kind of a weird list. Uh, not one that I've actually seen much of, but I just kind of happened upon and thought, eh, let's give it a shot. This is kind of a weird one, but uh, it is Sultai Reanimator. So uh, the idea here is fill your graveyard, get out a greater sandworm uh, and uh, Titanith Rex, uh, and then hopefully finish the game very, very quickly with those. Now, uh, the way we do that uh, is through a mixture of kind of ramp uh, with the Gilded Goose, but then a lot of graveyard interaction. So Meyer Triton is a two of here, uh, so it puts top two cards of your, your deck into your graveyard. You gain a couple life. Great early game blocker as well. It's just an all-around great card in standard right now, I think. Uh, Binding of the Titans does a very similar thing. It's uh, Each player puts the top three cards into their graveyard. Uh, you exile some stuff from the graveyard, and then on the third one, you can return a, a creature or a land from the graveyard to your hand, so you can actually get stuff back. Um, Tonebound Lynch, Lich, excuse me, um, is kind of a card draw engine. It's another death toucher, so you'll notice we've got quite a bit of death touch here. This is just to keep us alive and keep, uh, hopefully stave off some attacks from the opponent. Um, this one, though, every time it deals damage to a player, you draw a card and discard a card, so... Another way, again, to, to kind of get these into the graveyard. Uh, Blood for Bones, great way uh, to essentially bring back a creature. Um, so as an additional cast, casting cost, you have to sacrifice a creature, hence these three. Uh, but return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield, then return another creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So uh, you can essentially shove one of these onto the field and then the other one into your hand, and then you can maybe cycle it away or use another spell to get you there. Uh, once in future, an instant speed 4 mana spell, return target card from your graveyard to your hand, uh, then put up to one other target card from your graveyard on top of your library. Uh, if you do have adamant, uh, at least three green mana was spent to cast it. Instead, return both of those to your hand and then exile once uh, in future. Tamio, a great way to dig through your deck. Uh, it also keeps you from having to discard stuff or sacrifice permanence, which is awesome. Um, Bond of Revival. Uh, sorcery 5 mana, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste until your next turn. This is straight up a reanimate spell. Uh, it gains haste, so it's able to swing in immediately as well, which is awesome. Uh, and so this is actually a really, really nice one. Uh, we do have four greater sandworm here. It's a cycler for two, which is pretty crucial because we do want to get it in the graveyard. Uh, but more importantly, it's a 7-7 seven, seven, uh, that cannot be blocked with with uh, by creature, excuse me, power two or less. So uh, the sooner we get this out, the better. It just means opponents can't really block it very effectively. Uh, and seven damage is a lot. The other one here is an 11-11 Trampler. Uh, very crucial, it also has cycling. The reason we're running these two is because they do have cycling, just for the record. Uh, there are much better, more powerful reanimator targets out there. But these two happen to have cycling, which means they have built-in push-to-the-graveyard kind of effects, and then you can reanimate with whatever spells you have. Uh, when this one cycles, it actually puts a trample counter on any target creature we control as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, but more importantly, it's an 11-11 trampler itself. So, again, we're reanimating this or this and getting, hopefully, just a really, really quick win off of that. Uh, Emergent Ultimatum as a one-of in here. A uh, little bit of an interesting card, but essentially uh, you... You choose three mono-colored cards with different names and exile them. Uh, an opponent chooses one of those, shuffle that card into your library, and then the other two uh, you can play without paying their mana cost. Uh, and so generally you'll get, you know, this, this, and then one other kind of whatever card. Um, they'll probably put one of these two back, but you're still going to get the other. So uh, that's kind of the idea. I don't love this in here because we don't have multiple... We've only got two reanimator targets. It'd be cool if we had a third. Uh, but I'm going with the stock list here. I'm not going too crazy. I just want to kind of try this out. Um, we are running a, a 24 lands here. We're not trying to go too crazy with the lands, so we don't need a ton. But uh, four forest, two swamp, and one island is kind of our split. We've got quite a lot of green here. Uh, two temple of deceit and two temple of malady, uh, as well as two temple of mystery. So we're at a 2-2-2 two, two, two split. Uh, 
as far as the uh, shocklands go, we've got three watery grave, two overgrown tomb, and three breeding pool. Uh, and then we have a one of Zagoth Triome, uh, and then two Fabled Passage to fetch out some lands here. So this is how this deck... I mean, it's a it's an interesting list. I don't uh, necessarily think this is going to be an amazing one, um, but I do kind of just want to give it a shot and see how it goes. Um, I think it could be interesting. Uh, I I love Reanimator as just a general strategy, so it'd be really really cool if we can get something like like this working. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's jump into game one. Sorry, guys, I have gum in. My apologies. Uh, okay. Yes, we keep. Absolutely keep. Um, and what are we looking to do here? Toebound Lynch is not bad. Uh, we're gonna do this and do this. <laughs> like we're against the Garuda deck. Uh, makes sense. That's not great for us considering we do have reanimator targets, uh, so we do have to kind of keep that in mind. Um, let's do this. Uh, let's do... Hmm. Let's Binding of the Titans, actually. <laughs> and we'll, we'll pass here. Got a Thassa with theirs. Um, I I don't know. Against this Garuda deck, this deck feels quite bad, I'll be honest. Um, they've got a lot more ramp and a lot better stuff that they're getting out. Uh, and they can steal our stuff, which is kind of obviously terrible for us. Um, let's exile you and you. Um, so we are a turn away here, which is quite good, but... Um, they are going to get there first. Uh, we actually kind of want to keep that. Um, so we can cycle this or we can jump this. I kind of think we want to jump this out. Uh, we kind of need some death touchers here is essentially the reason. Uh, kind of dumb of us to scry to the top there when we knew we were going to do that, but that's okay. Yep. Glad we didn't cycle that. I wasn't really even thinking about the Binding of the Titans. That could have been a huge misplay. We are dropping frames again, guys. I do apologize. I did a full restart of the system and tried to tried to fix it, but Thassa, huh? Yep. They get when they get. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, we need a land, don't we? Let's get a land. Uh, we need an untapped land here. And we have Greater Sandworm as our only real target, so let's do it. All right, um, we can attack here, I suppose, but it's not gonna. I, I imagine they're just gonna kind of. Ah, uh, duh. <laughs> Nightmare Shepherd. That is a cool little tech card for this deck. Thankfully, we do have the Mire Triton, so Death Touch is definitely something that they have to consider. I apologize for the frame rates, guys. Our network is really, really not handling this uh, all that well, unfortunately. Alright, well, no attack. 
Thanks. I mean, they definitely... We can... I mean, we can kill the Garudas, but then they've got two 4-4 Flyers, and we've got a Gilded Goose in the air. So... Uh, don't think we are in a winning position here. Kept the 1-1. One, one. Interesting. I guess they just sack it and they continue this whole thing. Are we on the mill plane now? Is that what... I mean, they're on the mill plane, I think, at this point. This is very cool, by the way. So they just mill us out, right? Alright, yep, they got it. Man, feels bad, feels bad, feels bad. Alright. Um, guys, I do apologize. Our frame rates here are just atrocious. I'm not sure why it is dipping so hard. Um, but we'll go ahead and jump into game two here. Uh, unfortunately, that is a much better reanimator deck. It's just the way it goes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll keep this. I love that sound. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but I love that. Uh, yeah, this deck, honestly, it just kind of feels like a worse version of Garuda. Like, it's worth trying, I think. Uh, and I think there's a version of Garuda with this that you know, would be cool. Um, you don't need the reanimator spells because you have Garuda, which is really cool, but um, I just don't think this is... this has the legs to really make it. Drop a temple here. We'll throw that on the bottom. I'm not too worried about our land count. I mean, we've got four already, uh, not to mention a Binding of the Titans next turn, so I, I think we're okay there. Looks like we're probably against Demir Flash. <laughs> it may want to quench this, I'm not sure. Okay. Hit three lands. <laughs> does solidify that it is Demir, um, and considering all of their passing, I'm assuming that, you know. Yes, we could exile the Gilded Goose, um, don't particularly care that much. My assumption is this doesn't stick, but I think it's correct to try. Oh, okay, it does. Well, that's cool. Uh, we'll discard the sandworm. Sure. So we do have blood for bones next turn, um, assuming they don't counter, which is obviously the problem. Um, we'll just return gilded goose. <laughs> My assumption is they just counter this. They can also just flash some stuff in, but I, I mean, they've got the three mana. I don't see why they would not counter. <laughs> okay. Well, 
I mean, we got a sandworm, but I'm assuming they've got some way to deal with it, I would think. I'm very surprised they wouldn't counter that. Uh, I mean, maybe they just don't have it, but... Generally, you can kind of count on these decks having something. Ah, okay. Sure. That'll do it. Um... So what have we got this turn? Not a lot. Let's play the Lich. I'm not playing around Quench, but they've only got one man up, so it doesn't matter. They get fat, yeah. Uh, discard a card, sorry. Uh, we'll discard that. Go ahead and play this out. Just to block this guy. Um... And we'll play the Skyland. I don't think we want that. I don't love that card, just in general. Um, looks like they're stuck on lands. I mean, we we discarded like three of theirs, so there is that. Um, yeah, we'll we'll see. I I don't have high hopes for this. I'll block here. We do have Death Touch, so unless they've got a bounce effect or something, this this just trades. Oh, okay. Sure. Wow, interesting they didn't mutate it onto... That was, I think, incorrect, right? Like, they could have mutated onto this, uh, the one that was not blocked, and then drawn a card off of it. I mean, they already drew like th two this turn, um, but they could have could have gotten an extra one. Tamio, Tamio is good, but a little bit late, uh, I believe. Hmm. Let's play Meyer Triton now. Play Binding of the Titans. And we'll do this. Yep. This Demir flash deck can be really mean. <coughs> I like it quite a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. It was actually the first deck we played with a Coria uh, standard, which was sweet. Really, really sweet. Like, we just can't win, right? Back up to four. All right. Um, there's just no way. I'm going to go ahead and concede. There's no way. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into game three. Guys, I'll be honest. This deck doesn't, doesn't really... Doesn't really seem to have it. It's worth a shot. I, I love trying different kinds of decks. So, like, that's the fun of doing these videos is that... Um, we, we give every deck a little bit of a shot. It's nice to kind of try everything. Um, and I played, I, I do six games and two videos uh, just so we can kind of get a bigger sample set than just saying, well, here's three games, that's it, that kind of thing. Um, I'd like to be able to say that we gave, we've gave we given it a decent shot. Not to mention, you know, I misplay all the time. So it's good to be able to, uh, you know, say, well, yeah, I've misplayed on games one and two, but maybe on game three or something like that, that truly was just how the deck would play out. Um, just to give ourselves a better chance. You know what I'm saying? So, um, 
that's certainly what we're trying to do at the very least. Yeah, I know we don't have black mana. Um, next turn we can cycle this if we'd like. This feels bad though. I mean, we're already in a bad spot here. They've got, if they've got like a calamity or something, then that's just, oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Well, that'll do it. No way, no way. There's absolutely no way we win. Um, <laughs> sure. <clears throat> they could start pumping these up. Yeah, um, I'm out. That's three games pretty quick, guys. Unfortunately, this deck is just not doing it for me. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky in video two, but I, I just don't have high hopes for this one. We'll uh, we'll try it again here in just a second, and we'll, we'll get another video up for you guys. But uh, kind of excited to move on to the next deck. But regardless, we'll, we'll give it a shot. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe on Patreon if you're not already. This is the last couple days to pick up these uh, these proxies that are cycling down below me. Uh, so definitely, definitely check that out. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next gameplay video.